Hey guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean 2. Last time, we went through and did some of the stuff with uh, Ashton's side quest after recruiting him. In fact, uh, we're still on Rain's path. I'm surprised it's taken us this long to uh, go through the events on her path with recruiting Ashton and all that stuff. But I went to go to leave. I know I said I'd meet you at uh, Cross or wherever I said I'd meet you. And then we got stuck here. So, um, yeah, I tried to leave and they, they gave me this line of dialogue, so figure I might as well show this before we jump cut back to uh, cross there. Something about a mountain peak and a bird or something. Only mountains in the area we know are the ones west of cross that we did our grinding at. The uh, Alaskas, or however you pronounce that. Anyway, now we'll see you in cross. Okay, we're back. I uh, rested up in Cross, and then we made our way back to the mountains that I did the grinding in earlier in the game. Uh, just so you know, I have moved a few uh, pieces of equipment around. We have the Mind Ring on Reyna, though I don't know if that'll be useful or not. Uh, Emerald Ring Berserk, so you're still the same. Uh, you, I've given the Luna Tablet to, because uh, you're probably going to have to cast a bunch of spells upcoming. And over here, Emerald Ring and Feed Symbol. So that's pretty much all there is as far as um, all this goes. I don't think I learned anything else on you. We have Head Splitter set for you. Uh, we learned uh, Mind Absorber, which I can leave on. Basically, it's like Osmos, Osmos from the Final Fantasy series. You get MP back, so that's good. Uh, Energy Arrow is the only other spell you'll want to have on. So that should be good there. And you have Leaf Slash. Uh, he seems to be using that even though I have no other cross on. So as long as he's able to use that, that should be good. Uh, just because you're going to want both Claude and Ashen with abilities that are useful against flying enemies. So now that we've done that, you'll want to save before coming in here. And this time we are supposed to be fighting these guys. So yeah, Leaf Slash, as you can see, it's like a teleport attack. Now that we're in a lot more uh, higher levels and stuff like that we're much more easily to uh, deal with this though you probably still want to distract the uh, the other enemies there and we learned piercing swords um i can put that on instead of northern northern cross there this one takes a long time to charge up which makes it not particularly useful but when he's not by himself it's not usually too bad uh, so there's a path to the right, too, and I will go over there after we deal with the events here. And I will come back to this screen off screen there, just because it'll be easier. And I'm going to try and cram as much as I can into uh, the episode today. Behind me? Why? You can still beat up these guys, sure. You're too easy. You try not to use too much, too much of your MP um, this er early in the dungeon, just because it's not very long. But you are going to need a lot of it uh, going forward. So these knights can probably annihilate you. So I'm going to cast Ray, and you're going to cast Energy Arrow on somebody, and then I'm going to cast Starlight, so that I don't have to worry about them. And hopefully that will deal with uh, the enemies around here. I'm gonna have to use some blueberries to, or some blackberries to heal up after, but I don't want them casting spells because that'll do quite a bit of damage. Not to mention it's good to have them kind of distracted. There we are. As you can tell, they really intend you to have more characters than three underleveled characters when you show up here, which is why it was such a great place to uh, do our grinding, since we weren't supposed to come here and we got way more experience. So I think, yeah, press the X button or whatever your main button is to uh, climb up. And do it over and over. If you have the mischief equipped while climbing, it'll randomly give you items mid-climb. It's really annoying. And it seems to do it much more often. Uh, there should be a save point. Yes. I would recommend you use this save point. I'm also going to heal up, so one sec. All right, so everyone's healed up, and I put uh, four single points into Ashton's uh, kitchen knife to give him a little more damage. And that's pretty much it. Now we approach a bird's nest? Kind of a big bird's nest. 
So where's the king who's supposed to cry? Not really a bird, but holy crap! That's not a bird, but he probably fits in that nest. Or she. Apparently it's Zine, Shine, I'm not sure how you would pronounce that, but Zine is probably how I'll say it. Ashton, at this point. When have you had to stoop so low as to possess some human boy? So basically, the uh, Gyoro and Ururun are speaking through Ashton to Zine at this point. Just so you kind of are aware of what's going on. Ashton is not the one who knew this guy. <laughs> Apparently, they needed to do that in order to survive. So they weren't really attacking him for the purpose of attacking him. They needed someone to possess, I guess, for a symbiotic relationship in order to stay alive. Really now? Wanna try? Maybe. Let's leave it at that. Let's settle this. This is actually a very difficult boss fight. So kind cool. of be aware. I'm gonna control different characters. He has his master attack, which is really powerful. But make sure you have Energy Arrow as the only spell set and have Selene hopefully attack as much as possible. And you want Leaf Slash and um, Head Splitter on because they're some of the few that actually seem to be able to hit the boss. And then keep Reyna on the sidelines to cast Cure All when necessary. But he can do quite a bit of damage, so kind of be aware. Right now I'm getting extremely lucky and he's not really hitting me. Dizzying helps him. Okay, so we gotta throw a heal out. Now, the AI tends to be really smart and will just cast uh, a single heal, single targeting heal, when one character gets low. But I'm gonna be using Cure All pretty much every time because chances are uh, you're going to need to heal somebody else by the time the spell goes through. As can be indicated by that one right there. Claude was who I was healing. Ashen got hurt more. So be very careful in this fight. Uh, I'm going to risk healing Antidote there. No, it doesn't matter a lot. And he has 20,000 HP. So yeah, he's quite powerful at this point in the game. And you can get a Luna Tablet from him if you really want it. Uh, that'll be useful somewhat later in the game. Basically, it just gives you a little more MP, just like the one I gave to uh, Celine. And the only reason it's really useful is just so that you have to spend less time in between uh, fighting a bunch of battles to grind up your killer moves and have to go heal. So, anyway. It's the first time I had felt companionship. Probably impossible. My mere presence is terrifying. You are correct, sir. Or ma'am. I'm guessing the uh, Zion is female because of the nest, but I could be wrong. So long. And with that, we acquire the Tears of the King. Okay. Giant and Ashton seems to be unaware of the entire events when they uh, took control of him there. I wouldn't call it a bird. <laughs> that is some giant flying creature. Envious, huh? And I guess Zion is like the king of the mountain or something like that, so it works. Sure, why not? Yeah, is that still what you want to do? As you can see, he's starting to think about it a little more. Must have come here for that purpose. Don't sound too convinced. Anyway, let's head back to the self adrift because the book said we have to perform the ceremony place where the demon possession occurred. Anyway, I'm going to meet you back at that uh, midway point there uh, with the fork, and I will see you down there.
Okay, so I do want to go over here real quick. Uh, we have one other point where we'll want to come over here later in the game, but uh, I think I'm going to do this now because this leads out into a desert area that you never have to go to. And there is a specific enemy around here that drops both Damascus and Orichalca. And I would like to show off that battle real quick before we uh, meet you back in the depths of the Salva Drift. If I can run into a battle. And if I get the right one. This might be a good fight. Let's I go. don't think these are them. And I should not have run into an attack because I need to heal. <laughs> but yeah, the enemies around here are pretty powerful, so just kind of be aware you're probably not intended on coming over here quite yet. And I still haven't healed after what we were doing last time. There we go. It's probably not these guys. Yeah, they got drop Artemis leaves. I'll find the guy that we're looking for. Careful. Ah, there we go. The sandworms here. We also have those other enemies there. They're uh, those little hourglasses with hands. They're pretty powerful too, but the sandworms are the ones that can drop Damascus and Orichalcum if you happen to get lucky enough. And while I don't need it quite yet, I will need Damascus later on in the game, so I would like to, you know, see a fairy glass from the... Uh, the hourglass guys, but yeah. I'm gonna see if I can fight them one more time and get at least one example of Damascus to drop. Okay, so hopefully this works out for me. I had three of them in this fight. Hopefully one of them will drop a Damascus for me. There we go. So yeah, there's your evidence there. I'll meet you in the depths of the Salva Drift. Okay, we're back in the Salva Drift, and of course we're gonna run into battles. Why not? Did I show these guys off before? I'm guessing they can slow you or deal damage or something. They're dead. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, that's... Now that we have a full-fledged party and some decent accessories, the game has gotten quite a bit easier, and it wasn't really all that hard to begin with. So, anyway. Now we have the Silver Goblet and the Tears of the King. All we need to do is chant the words of the pledge. Um, yeah. With my accursed body in front. And I'm sure they're not happy about that because they're about to die. Pure holy water, huh? Yeah, I don't know why we have two people calling for Gyoro and only one for Ururun, but oh well. And something's about to happen. The music's dying down. And they've built up to this since basically we walked out the uh, gates of Salva where we gave them names. Aww, isn't it cute? He grew attached to the dragons that cursed him. Well, potentially. <laughs> Very matter of fact, Celine. Let's all try to get along now. Let's be friends from now on. Ashton, Gyoro, and Ururun have joined the party. Yeah, they officially joined now, and now they're stuck with you for the rest of the game. Uh, once you recruit them the first time, there's no point where you can get them out of the party, no matter what you do, at least to my knowledge. 
Um, yeah, so anyway, that's pretty much all we can do in here. I think there's one PA to do here and then two in Hurley that I want to do and that'll be it for Raina's Path for a while. Okay, we're back in Hurley and we're doing a private action. There is a, I think there's five private actions we can actually do in this city right now. Um, on Reina's path and all of them are kind of important. They have to be done sequentially though One of them requires Ashton now if you decided to recruit opera instead of Ashton there is a single scene with opera and uh, Reina that involves the same plot line uh, you, It'll be made better if you've acquired a specific weapon for her um, opera that is and that is the seventh ray and I will go into how to get that on Claude's path since that's where I'll be recruiting her but Ashen just picked up a handkerchief and apparently he's going to try and return said handkerchief that apparently Raina saw someone some girl drop yet we didn't so who knows and if we go upstairs we'll get the cutscene I don't know why her mother's not in here. Or maybe her mother is the one who dropped the handkerchief. I thank you, strange big brother. <laughs> Such a strange line. My name is Ashton. My name is Dende. Don't lose it again. Bye now. You're a traveler, right? Of course. Is traveling fun? Lots of fun parts, but not all. I got into the state because I was traveling. Yeah, they didn't say what he was up to other than uh, attacking the dragon before, so who knows what uh, his uh, plan was, what else he was doing. Why do you ask? And frail like this ever since I was born. I've only seen what I can see from the window. Whoa. That's... Wow. Now I feel bad. And I'm the one who came in here on a different path and pickpocketed from her. And stole her treasure chest. I am an evil, evil person. Tell you as much as you want. Oh, it's an Ashen, a nice guy. And do I talk to you? Were you? I heard the whole story. Oh, well, there's a good, uh, good thought. It's so sad. I'll try. Don't worry. Well, sounded like it worked. Did it? I can't cure her with your powers. It's surprising considering I just learned a much better spell for you that really should be able to do that. Anyway, don't worry about it. Not much we can do if we can't do anything, right? Can I move now? No? I've already given up hope. I can't even count the number of doctors I've seen. Well, that's also quite sad. Friends? No, friend. There's only two people here. <laughs> Not more. Okay, so you're going to stay a little longer. The spell I was talking about was the Almighty Dispel spell. It costs a lot of MP, but it dispels, like, stone and petrification and poison or paralysis petrification and poison all at once so it's very good to have i like to keep antidote for removing just poison but a lot of the time the ai will be really stupid and they'll cast this when they're you should be casting this but anyway so i may turn it off at some point but not right now so i'm gonna zone in and out and i will see you when we get back here in a moment and once we re-enter a new private action after leaving town and coming back in, enter Eleanor's house. What's going on? 
That sounds like something a sick person would do. I don't know if there is a doctor in this town. Not, like, I mean that we can normally talk to. So, did it work or is she just sleeping it off? She won't last. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Dying children is not something I want in my day RPGs. Almost no chance, huh? What do you mean by almost? There's still a small chance. 100% impossible. How many guesses do you need to figure out that we're going to be able to do something about this? What could be done to save the life of little Eleanor? Legend of this expel. It's kind of a strange line. Medicinal herb called Metox. Now, I believe that's a reference back to the first Star Ocean, if I remember correctly. Wasn't that, uh, like, the name of a city, I think, in that game? I think. I can't remember. Been too long since I played that game. Unfortunately, the name Metox only appears in Legend. It may not really exist. Unless we can get a hold of it, she's not going to make it. Merely a matter of time. She woke up. Oh, now she's going blind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just crying. Sure. Left alone, huh? That'll never happen. Mind if I sleep a little? Yeah, this one's going to go a little long. I want to get through all of the uh, stuff we can with uh, Rainus Path now. Uh, just because there's no real reason to do anything else on her path afterwards. So, Do they ever tell us? Only grows on the mountain peak, touched by the breath of the phoenix. Well, it's not really a phoenix, but uh, we know of a mountain peak. It's, uh, it's interesting because there is another uh, boss fight later in the game that uses a similar sprite to Zine that uh, I think is actually called Phoenix. So. Or Phoenix King or Bird King or something like that. I don't know. Sorry if I'm going through the dialogue a little quickly. Like I said, I'm trying to get through everything. There is another set of subquests that we can start, and we it may start as we go to leave the uh, the city here. But uh, anyway, so we know where they're telling us to go. There's a um, oh what is it? Um, remember the crossroads where I met you guys before, where we went toward the desert one way. Well, that's where I'm going to meet you this time. Okay, so we're back. And so we just need to head over here, run into another fight, and walk up here, and that's it. That's, that's all there is. We, we found it. And now I believe we have to run all the way back. And the next scene, I believe, starts as soon as we enter the uh, city there. So I will meet you back at the start of Hurley. Okay, so you start a private action, and you immediately get to... Uh, go toward finishing up this plot thread. I guess the others go do something else. I'm 
Well, we've got it. Now, will it work? Yeah, and in such a short amount of time, too. Only took uh, about a five-minute detour. Yeah, timelines in JRPGs is weird. Takes you five minutes to walk from city to city, but there's no way that's going to happen in, you know, the, the real world of this game. It's not going to take five minutes to walk from, or, you know, ten seconds to walk from Arlia all the way to Salva. It's going to take a few days, likely. Otherwise, they'd be part of the same city. Leave the rest to the doctor. Anyway, it's not like you're a doctor. You can't do anything about it. So, how'd it go? You needn't worry. Aw, isn't that awesome? Why are you crying? I got something in my eye. <sighs> I'll just go upstairs and cry at her bedside. Awesome. Well, that's good. We got a happy ending. Now, is there any more stuff we can do up here? It may have been her own strong desire to meet you all again that saved her life. Okay. Don't know how to thank you enough. Glad we made it in time, and I don't think we can talk to her because she's sleeping. But that's pretty much it. So, I'm not sure if the other private action will trigger when we leave the city. That's when uh, the next one's supposed to trigger when we leave the city one time. But I don't know if it's going to trigger or not. No, it's not going to happen. Okay. Okay. There's not supposed to be a timeline for this other one. I'm just going to start it today and because I won't be able to finish it up anyway. So we're just going to start it and hopefully, um, yeah, there's nobody in there. So hopefully, there we go. Who do you think we are? J just note that I was just in there a half second ago. We're hearing voices. Ought to keep your trap shut, huh? Zand is the name of the, the boss man who owns that big mansion in the back of the city. And there's his minions all look like thieves, enemies we fight on the world map all the time. Well, if you do that one, it ends the PA and you don't get to do the next part of it. So let's do this one. We got to stop them. And of course, uh, Reyna's by herself at this point. So she's not particularly threatening. You're going to scream? Someone's in the way. You're in luck. Remember, next time, you're not going to get off so easily. Now, this character that we ran into is very strange looking. I think the character is supposed to be a sailor or an apprentice sailor. Made yourself a target. Yeah, that sounds about right. But it looks... I don't know. Up close, it kind of looks like a guy. But from a further distance, it almost looks like there's a girl wearing like a, like a half sweater thing and a skirt. But I don't think that... I think it's supposed to be a guy. Bloody androgynous characters in JRPGs are confusing me. <laughs> Anyway, that's all we can do with it. Well, we can do some more right now, but uh, it's going to lead to something that we can't finish properly. So I'm not going to do any more of it right now. But I did want to start it before we move on, since it makes sense to do so now. Next time, we are going to head back to Claude's Path and continue with the actual plot of the game. And uh, we can't recruit uh, Opera, the character I'm doing on, uh, on Claude's Path, yet we have to do a little more of the uh, plot before we can do that. So next time we'll actually move on with the main plot of the game and see uh, what we can do when we arrive at the Castle of Lacour. That's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.